V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a Mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps. Acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? I thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop the inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax, I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So. I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. 
Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know, I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn? I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Buck. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk. V, 
See? That you? Shit. I thought you were... gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I'd want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa. Start again. What does he want us to do now? Speak some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know. You slid. I don't care. I just want my room back. You're pimping for you out, that is? Told me I was different. Dude is embarrassing herself again. Wonder why so easy. Keeps her around. You're kidding. Her virtues keep him coming. Keep the lights on in here. That's why. <sighs> Clubber would make it off fame alone. Everyone knows Lizzie's. Susie'd rather not test that theory. Can't blame her either. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay? Give you a call. Okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. V. You called. Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, 
Runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later V. Pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. V, hey. <laughs> I don't owe you shit. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your Fingers ass down, down and wait your you turn! Know, heard some things, yeah. Like... His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how, exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here. Helps me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. Here. Saw to cover you for some real chrome. From a real ripper. If you're flush enough to afford a real ripper, then what are you doing here? Hell do you care? That? She's here cause she feel like it. Now thank the lady unless you and me dealt her. Can't see nothing but a blur. Face plates previous Come on, owner let's go. had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's adjust. done. We going in? Eventually. Yes? Hello? What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I knew she was here in your... clinic. Ah, oh, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, oh, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know you're chipping faulty implants. You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> you're a sick fuck, know that? You looking for a friend? <laughs> Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted, to feel... Suggest you start remembering all you can. 
Either that or I'll make sure you never forget my face. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Losing our cool won't do us any favors. It's a waste of time. Oh, I'm cool. Real fucking cool with the fact that Ev's probably already dead. You don't know that. And I'm sure as hell not gonna squander precious minutes we could spend looking. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction in one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City. A domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. No fixer in Westbrook. I'll drop her a line. V. Fixers don't hand out information right and left. Done a couple of things for her. Not that she owes me, but let's see what she has to say. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Hop in. I told him. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. Want you to describe what you see. You might catch me. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link.
I see her. Cable two. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. Jerking around the cable probably didn't help. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Smoking's for posers, and it stinks too. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non-smokers are the fucking worst. Just my luck. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah, I had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay, show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Listen, Evelyn, I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything and do it soon, I'll die. Well, now, look at you. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape, not all that editable. 
Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What do you think? Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Biochip we stole? It's... got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Hey, Judy, what's up? V, hey, can you come over, Stat? Something happen? Yeah. Just come. In the bathroom!
Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her. Stop ad. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Did you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But... Right now, I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Sorry, no can do. Cheapskate. You could get hooked again. I don't want that on me. V, just give me a fucking smoke. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. You did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech wise, she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging, and her virtues found Woodman. He kept her, had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I 
really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. I think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox Dive, Lizzie's Bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the Mox didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. You are standing in Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. Some deets about her could be useful. 
when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, which you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion.
That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds. As if it were her idea. And you might be onto something. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Ground floor. Need to get out of this place. This far. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. World did change. All the people he could have hurt. They're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelling to me.
gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. B. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes. You gotta deal with the dirt. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Judy, so, got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Locust pepperoni and lots of extra cheese. Atta girl. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, I just so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Feeling better? You look better? I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. So then, what's the plan? Need to wait for Michael. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Subtlety comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Forrest didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, Got I sick, why. maybe. Or hit the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. 
Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons. Yeah, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Mm-mm, not convinced. If I'm gonna count on ninja dolls, I'm gonna need to see some real action. Like, wanna spar? What else? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta okay. do some cardio! Probably settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato's the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two-pronged assault. Loving it. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering. Rather not have to flatline anyone. What she said. Hope is it won't be necessary. Overpower Hiromi. Humiliate him. Should be enough. Bosses will put him out of the game. Count me in, Judy. 
Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. <sighs> I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy! For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But you- uh, uh, uh. Not a word. Uh, v, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Interesting. The place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? The way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. He came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. You nervous, Tom? 
How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just different program. You're great at that. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Michael? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi, to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. All right, we going in? Let's do this. You two, head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? you by the panel. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. And besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Get in breach security. Get me in the penthouse. Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. How's the sitch? They're inside of clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Finally. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Tries too hard. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. 
This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I promised to help Judy, and here we are, thanks to her. But little Jude's cut from a different cloth than you and me. She's dreaming if she thinks she can have justice and peace in Night City without cuts, bruises, and blood. Meaning you want to replace her only? Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect Clouds from other gangs? Do your thing. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromisado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough? This is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? With your permission. Over my dead body. We were gonna get rid of him. Am I to understand these as your conditions? Hiromi's gotta go. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the doors to fuck one another instead? Michael will make sure you receive a steady flow of funds in exchange for full autonomy. She'll continue running things as she has run them till now. But from now on, it'll be official. Maida-san? I have nothing to add. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Call off this massacre. He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose, unless you tell him with which hand to do it. We have one last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. If ever you should require stable employ, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. Come with me, V. Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. Don't need your eddies. But you can have them. And have Judy wrapped around your neck. Keep them. Buy yourself something nice. The hell did you do, V? Oh, no time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be waiting by Jig Jig Street. V? You just stood there and watched her play us? At least you had the decency not to take her eddies. Changes this big need to come gradually. Revolution always sounds great in theory. The Night City is about wheeling and dealing. That's where you and I differ. For you, it's about profit. For me, it's about the people. First casualties of revolution? Revolutionaries. 
bring anarchy to clouds and it'd go to shit. Everybody'd wind up in the street. Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Got carried away. I just this ain't how I imagined things panning out. But guess I should get used to it. No matter what you do, life's always gonna throw you a curveball. Your frustration, I get it. Don't take this personally, but I gotta cool down. I'm gonna go. Thanks for the help, V. Thank you again. Don't mention it. See you around, Judy. Hey, Jude. What's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey. I'm just glad you remember me at all. Cause I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right, then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay, um... Is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See ya, V. V? Looking good? You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? 
No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. What do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, get that booty of yours suited up. Do this often? What? Make other girls put on skin-tight wetsuits? Mint diving. As often as I can. As for the rest, well, I'm picky about my girls. Let's get this scroller on ya. Mind coming closer? Water's toxic, that not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. You should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa, mean you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion. Huh, I'm gonna hold you to that. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Where are we headed, exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. No idea what the song is, but I heard it. Uh, it goes something like... All right, we're all tuned and synced. And you got talent, girl. All right, that ought to do it. We are now... Synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. Press. 
impressive, huh? That's... That's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. What happened here? Why'd it get flooded? Because someone stood to profit. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Best eatery in town? Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now let's see. Childhood for you tasted like sushi with real rice. Used to stuff a few in your mouth at once and pretend you were a giant. Bigger family gatherings were great. That's where we even got real fish. Liked scent fish more though. Real fish was just <laughs> too stinky. skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, Alvarez. We're losing because of you. Come You're dead me anyway. Go out with me. Sorry, gotta go. They're calling. They're calling. They're calling. Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than 
sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, watch out for her cooties. Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like, living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was... temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. And still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We're looking for anything in particular here? No. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Oh, it feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. It's hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Hmm. Bottled water? <laughs> touché, Judy, touché. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. I'm not a stupid dog. But we can look for it together. You took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. Ha! <laughs> Church hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. I gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear him. Don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. 
never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo I got back scared the living bejesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out flew right back in my face. Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. <laughs> so, you're saying you saved my life. <laughs> Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator? <laughs> What's next? Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finish sauna? No, but there is running water. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow.
Think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Got some serious surges from you a few times. Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. So be careful. Of course I will be. Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No. Nothing. Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Michael's holding all of Clouds at gunpoint. Decides every little thing, apparently. But... No but. Talk to the dolls, they don't see any change. Everything's just like it was before. Got a feeling everything we did was wasted effort. I didn't want to tell you... wanted this to be just our day. It is oh, ours. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Morning. Finally. So, yesterday. What was that exactly? Don't remember, or you want me to remind you? 
You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean, like, to you? I think it, I mean, I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. Ugh. It can be such a gonk sometimes. Ruined my plans, you know that? Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now I think, I think I gotta stay. Ah, oh, well, guess I'll have to make it up to you, won't I? Hmm. Yeah, that would be appropriate. Give me your hand, B. All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. See ya, Judy. I was just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. 
Oh, before I forget, some lady called me Elizabeth something. Said she had a job for someone with an eye for virtues. Told her to drop you a line. I see you to think of me, Judy. Hey, don't mention it. I just hope she's worth the eddies. Ugh, what a dumpster fire of a case. You managed to crack it? In a manner of speaking. What else is going on besides that? Ah, you know, same old. Rather hear where you've been up to. If I wasn't always on the move, you and I could spend more time together. Enjoy life. Quality over quantity, V. Just focus on tying up all your loose ends. Then you and I are leaving this city once and for all. <sighs> Try to. Helps to keep it at the back of my mind. Guarantee it does. People already say I've got a bounce in my step. Still think about leaving Night City? Yeah, someday. But as of right now, I've still got a reason to stay. Let's talk for a little while longer, before I have to Delta somewhere. For you, I've got all day. What's new with the Mox? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the Mox? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. How'd you hook up with the Mox in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. A few Joy Toys lives really change for the better thanks to them. Got another question on my mind. Shoot. How's Virtue tuning going? Scroll anything preem lately? Depends what you'd call preem. Does smut count? Guess I kind of have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed, who using what? Yeah, something like that, but you see it differently. For you, it's art. How'd you get into virtues, anyway? I always had a techie streak, ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first virtue, I was like, hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Always wondered, why the smut industry? Isn't it obvious? Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions.
Hey V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura's sputtering? Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What, what's he gotta do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but he found the courage to bet on himself. After, I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? Come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Judy. Yeah. Even I've grown to like her. She ought to know that. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, V. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. Hmm? <laughs> A lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said, then. About what you sensed in me. Death. High time I faced it. Can't be sure it'll work, but... I gotta try. 
Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. <sighs> okay. What's good you called? Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just want to be there for it. Aware. See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? Hey, just me now. Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Need a way into our socket tower, now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why our socket tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear... You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower. Or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Here. You actually did it. You and that ragtag team of scrap rats. Who is right, you cranky bastard? Ha! You were right, V. You were. <laughs> and who just ate their words? Oh, fuck off. Should probably hurry before our Sokka sends reinforcements. Where's Alt? Haven't caught on yet, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. You real? You hit me with Soul Killer? Without asking? It was the only way I could fulfill your request. Jesus fuck. I'd like to warning, at least. Been a construct for just a few minutes, and already no one gives a damn what you want. Welcome to the club, V. You two still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. 
As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. I had this planned all along, didn't you? Never had any intention of keeping me alive. Is that a fucking joke? You backstabbing motherfucker. You just fucking kicked back dumbass grin on your face and waited till I finally realized you had me fucked from the start. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Alt, question. Will the body reject Johnny's construct? No. They are compatible. The body is his. That's enough, Alt. V and I need a minute. There's nothing to talk about. I have had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Cause we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the black wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. To be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife? Really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations, from the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No, be left with fading memories. <laughs> Sharing a bed, head splitting hangovers, sea breeze on my face, sun's heat on my shoulders. So take back your life. The six months you got left. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know. Uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Yeah, we stick to the plan. Johnny, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't, don't fuck with me right now. Only if you cut your pathetic I'm sorry bullshit. I mean, Jesus. I'm about to shred a comrade and a chunk of my own soul in one fucking go. You have no idea what that shit feels like. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. We know that attitude. CV, stand with you whether you like it or not. For fuck's sake, defend yourself! You're not even trying! You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. Goodbye, me. Bye. And never stop fighting.
Why'd you want to meet here? For the view? Or are you turning sentimental on me? So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help. <sighs> Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Had it in for the Raffins. You were out to get them with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. They'll never find us. Can promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel, never see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly your last glance at those buildings. It's just not there. What I'm looking for. Do you think we'll ever find it? Doubt it. But maybe that's not so bad. If Night City taught me anything, it's to beware your dreams. Cause somehow they always find a way to come back and bite you in the ass. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. It's just a little blood, Pan Am. It's nothing. V, promise me. As soon as we arrive down south, we'll go to my contacts. We'll fix... whatever needs fixing. I solemnly swear. We make a run for Arizona, set up there, then scour the land for a fix for my head. Simple enough? I'd say so. It's a good plan, V. Hmm. Do you know what Saul once told me? That anyone is truly free just once. When they know they have nothing to lose. Exactly. Next month, that's us. Got nothing to lose, and that's how we live. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City. Good night and good luck. Rain Dance Club in Chicago. Ages ago. I didn't edit them. No, we get the ready-mades. Just jack the dopamine wear on the Johns and Janes. Like when they put the new laws through. Wonder if I'll miss... V! You're here! Hey, <laughs> Jude. You made it! <laughs> I doubted you would come. Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. Why? Thought I'd stay in Night City? You don't seem like one who'd care to make a fresh start. Ever. Get to know me better? Could change your mind. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> I think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. Leave you girls to it. Everything alright? Just here. Now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. I thought, any moment now I'll feel safe. Even comfy. You'll find your place, where you really belong now. Only say that because you've already found it. I say it because I know you will too. So why the hell do I feel like I'm running away? It's betrayal, you sense. Feels like you're 
betraying it and somehow the city knows and it stands in judgment yeah it's like i want to leave but it's pulling me back in like it's got another sweet sweet promise just for me empty judy all of them but we hold the cards now You know, I used to mark time in stages, one juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase, and then the group home phase, the mox phase. Every time I thought I found a home, and every damn time I came away disappointed. Life in Night City in a nutshell, I'd say. I know that now. Didn't have any doubts about leaving, you know? I gotta go. And find something new. More lasting. For yourself. For us. You'll see. We'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be alright. If I can be sure of anything now, it's that. Feel better already? Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. Yeah. Carol said a thing or two. Warned me. Don't worry. You'll like her. So, we going? Got one last thing to take care of. It'll only take a sec. Okay. I'll be waiting right here. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad, behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight, go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest, got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Glad we're doing this. Meaning, leaving? Mm-hmm. Said goodbye to the girls at Lizzie's today. Almost all were sure I'd flake back out. Even started a pool, you know? About me limping back home, tail between my legs. Like many of them. More times than they'd care to admit. Got a feeling majority's gonna be out some eddies. I ever tell you I planned this with Evelyn? A flight out of Night City to Bliss. Dreamed about what we'd do when we finally got the chance. I'm sorry, Judy. Don't let it bother you. I won't. Mentioned it because feels like I should let that dream go too. Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Hey, V. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? 
Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, Decent Ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. I know what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? Well, <clears throat> you know me. I get mushy when it comes to sharing feelings. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just tell you here. <laughs> v, I just wanted you to know that Happy. For the first time in my life. And I wanted to speak of the devil. Save him. P. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. Pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, 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 I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? B, hey, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs. Stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff. For a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Four samurai committed to seppuku. They wrote, you say, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Kusama. somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you get a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey, 
V? Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you, out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free.